bought myself a new digital oscilloscope to replace a 30 year old crow that I haven't used for at least 20 years. Okay, this is a, no, an, um, an unboxing of a new oscilloscope. Uh, I don't know whether you can see here, the model is a DS1202ZE model. Uh, let's open it up and have a look. Uh, it's um, an oscilloscope that I that came recommended on an Element 14 shoot, uh, video I was watching and uh, I investigated it and uh, uh, I uh, so in this tray here there is um, a USB cable a power cord and the uh, couple of probes and uh, let me pull the unit out get rid of, get rid of the box it up the right way and uh, let's have a look at it it's, uh, it's a two channel oscilloscope that has a 200 megahertz frequency and a one gigahertz sample rate um, It's um, mains powered. Uh, it comes with an Australian plug, uh, ID C type uh, plug on the rear. Let me uh, spin that around and show you a little handle on the top, which is handy. Um, ID C mains plug. Kensington lock, a trigger out on this end, an LXI port, um, which I don't know what it is, and a USB port. Let's uh, plug the power cord in, and um, spin it around. We'll have a look at it. Um, I think we can turn it on before we do anything. I think the on button's down here next to a USB port. And as I understand, it can take 20 odd seconds before it comes up and says it's ready. So it's going through probably a self diagnostic at the moment and uh, there's a certificate of calibration and a uh, quality control certificate here and now we've now got the screen come up there so let's have a look at these leads plug in to channel one and I'm getting a bit of noise there from me just touching it I think uh, on the end here we've got um, a uh, some sort of signal there 
maybe I need the earth and we'll go to auto and there may be there it is come up there so we've got a I think a one kilohertz test signal coming up there and uh, one of the first things they say to do is adjust the capacitance on the leads now I'll um, th these leads are 10 I got a times one and a times ten mode on them. Here's the little screwdriver that's in the kit. Let's have a look at this lead. And I'm going to disconnect it there so I can have a closer look at where to adjust it. Oh, yep. Yeah. So we've got the adjuster I've got it now facing upwards and I'll clip that earth on I think that's what it's for and you can see here you can see here there's an adjustment screw and my hands are going to be in the way I'm guessing so let me so you can see the so, so you can see the screen at least while I twitch that. You can see I can uh, there. It was there. I'm bringing it up to a square wave about there. It can go past it and go the other way, but uh, we'll just set it there. So that's the capacitance of that lead set and uh, we must be on channel one let me uh, take that off there quickly do the other one um, let me see yes I switch to the times 10 signal and go on here again and on here and Go to channel two. Might help if I plug the BNC connector in as well. Now, I uh, don't know why we're not seeing something on channel two. You still haven't plugged the BNC connector in, you idiot. You don't want channel one. Channel two not plugged in as yet look that might help it channel two you had a picture there for a moment you idiot you've uh, messed it up and now you're gonna muck around and try and find it again How much time on this video are you going to waste showing you mucking around not knowing what you're doing? Let's uh, cut it here and jump ahead a bit. Okay, not getting anywhere with that. It's, uh, I'm going to undo that probe, plug it, plug in the uh, other one, go back to channel one. Get rid of channel two and uh, fiddle here. Auto. You're still wasting way too much time fooling around here. There we go, we're getting a trace now. Um, there's a similar trace to before with the uh, 
capacitance of the probe not adjusted properly. Um, can I get my hands out of the way of the camera and adjust that? There it is. Can go too far or back. Just bring it up level with the line, and that'll do for now. So I've adjusted those capacitance of those two new leads, and uh, I ne I now need to go ahead and learn how to use the thing. Um, there's a whole lot of different menus. I've got to uh, go online, download a manual, and just see what I've bought. It's a uh, pretty sophisticated bit of kit for me, considering it's a 200 megahertz uh, oscilloscope. I think the last cathode ray oscilloscope that I had, or Crow, an old analog cathode ray oscilloscope, was only 100 kilohertz, uh, was the sort of capacity of it. Now this can sample at one gig so um, you know, even at 200 megahertz it's taking five samples of that waveform at that speed so pretty impressive with two channels running it uh, halves the gigabit sample rate sharing it between the two channels but uh, yeah pretty impressive bit of kit I've got a lot to learn and that'll do for an unboxing and a brief uh, plug-in to see that it's working and a tune-up of the uh, um, of the probes turning off. I filmed this on an iPhone 7 and I used Airbeam to direct the live picture across to an iPad which you can see in the background there so I could see what the camera was had in shot. Get out to your shed and have some fun yourself.